Hello everyone and welcome. You know, a few months back I mentioned in some of my videos that I was thinking of getting myself a digital torque wrench. Now I already have a click type torque wrench from Harbor Freight, but as I've mentioned previously, I feel that the Harbor Freight Quinn or the Icon digital torque wrenches are just too expensive. So I set out to find some digital torque wrenches that were equal to the Harbor Freight counterparts, but at a better price. Well, today I bring you such wrenches. In this video, we'll be looking at the one half inch drive and the three eighths inch drive digital torque wrenches from Vibor. Are they as good or better than the Harbor Freight Quinn or Icon torque wrenches? Well, stick around as we test and find out in this video. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that this guy has. But before we get started testing this guy, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you get notified every time I produce another product review video, DIY video, or a sale at a big box store where I can find ways to save you guys more money. All right, guys, so in this video, we'll be testing two torque wrenches from the same manufacturer. So many of the features will be very similar. Now I'll tell you all the features of the two wrenches and then I'll explain where they differ between them. So we're going to start off here with the half inch torque wrench. So this is the one half inch drive digital torque wrench from Vivor available on their website, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this wrench right here retails for $89.99. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the torque wrench itself, you get five sockets and you get a case to keep it in when you're not using it. The warranty on this guy is one year, and the dimensions on this wrench are 25.8 inches in length, and it weighs 3.6 pounds. Now this guy is a 36 tooth design, and the torque wrench on this guy is from 12.5 to 250.7 foot pounds. The accuracy on this guy is 2% plus or minus in either direction. This torque wrench works in both clockwise and counterclockwise directions, so it can be used with both right and left threaded nuts and bolts. The five sockets that are included are 8mm, 9mm, 10, 11, and 12. Or that would be 5 16 7 20 3 8 7 16 and 15 30 seconds. The wrench has both digital readings plus an LED light and a buzzer to alert you when you reach your desired torque. The body is made from hardened steel with a rubberized handle and the head is made from chrome vanadium. The sockets I should point out are also made from chrome vanadium. This guy can take measurements in four different sets of units. You can have it in inch pounds, foot pounds, newton meters or kilograms per centimeter. Plus it has two measuring modes, real time and peak mode. Now let's take a look at the features in the 3 8 inch drive. All right guys, well now let's take a look at the 3 8 inch digital torque wrench. So this is the 3 8 inch drive digital torque wrench from Vibor, available on their website, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this wrench retails for $108.99. This is the 3 8 inch drive. Now this guy also has a one year warranty, 36 tooth design, 2% 2 accuracy, works in both directions, LED and buzzer alert, real time, peak display, 4 units of measurement, same hardened steel and chrome vanadium design, etc. Now, where this differs from the other one is that the torque wrench on this one is from 5 to 99.5 foot-pounds. The length on this guy is 16.5 inches, and the weight on this guy is 2 pounds. This is obviously meant for smaller measurements. This guy also comes with 7 sockets instead of the 5 that the other one had. So this one comes with a 6 millimeter, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Or that would be 1 quarter inch, 9 30 seconds, 5 16, 7 20, 3 8, 7 16, and 15 30 seconds. So both of these wrenches are really great for using them for automotive, engineering, mechanical, HVAC, and all sorts of home improvement projects. Whether you need precise small measurements or larger higher strength measurements, these two wrenches can handle just about any task you throw at them. Now, why did I choose these wrenches over the Harbor Freight Quinn or Icon Digital Torque wrenches? Well, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. These two wrenches from Vivor cost $90 for the half inch drive and $109 for the 3 8 inch drive, respectively. The Harbor Freight Icon wrenches cost $180 for the half inch drive and $165 for the 3 8 inch drive. 
that is a huge difference in price. On top of that, the Harbor Freight wrenches only have 90 days warranty, where Vivor gives you a one-year warranty. The specifications are pretty much the same for the Vivor and the Harbor Freight wrenches, except the Harbor Freight wrenches have a 72 teeth design, which I don't think makes up for the huge difference in price. I don't think it'll make any real difference as far as taking measurements with these guys. If you want to compare then the Icon wrench, that is a whole different animal right there. Icon only sells a half inch drive torque wrench and that runs $350. That is a huge price difference from the $90 that the Vibor wrench costs. The Icon wrench does have a lifetime warranty and a 72 teeth design. But I could easily buy three wrenches from Vibor before I even get close to paying for the Icon wrench. Plus, for a DIYer like me and most of you guys, that just doesn't make any sense. So for those reasons, that's why I chose the Vibor wrenches instead of the Harbor Freight wrenches, even though I had previously purchased a Harbor Freight Click Type Torque wrench, but that was a whole lot more affordable. So let's move on to do some testing and see how these guys perform. All right, guys, so let's take a real quick look at the wrench before we start using it. That way you can get a close-up look at what the wrench looks like. Now, we're going to use the 3 8 inch drive because it's smaller and easier to maneuver. And you can see the wrench right there, the head-on and so forth, the control panel, everything is right there. Four keys and the OK key and so forth there, so you can go through the menu and select whatever it is you want to do. Let me give you a close-up right there of the display with uh, LED or LCD, whatever you want to call it. And you see it gives you very detailed uh, display right there. So you can see exactly what you're looking at. It's not fuzzy or hazed out or, you know, difficult to read, any of that kind of stuff. And there's your red LED right there, which goes off whenever you reach the increment that you want to get to. And there's the little speaker back there for the buzzer that goes off. So you have the reading, the LED light, and the buzzer that'll tell you when you got to the point that you want to get at the proper torque setting. Now, as far as the battery on this guy, it goes back here at the back of the handle there. There's a little tab that you pull out and uh, you put the battery in there. It's just a couple of watch batteries and that's how you power this guy up. So let's do a little testing with this guy and see how it works. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how this wrench works. And we're going to start off using the 3 8 inch drive. And what I did was I set up a big long bolt here with a nut and a bunch of washers and so forth in my vise. And I'm going to show you how the 3 8 works right now. We have it already started and ready to go. And I didn't set it at a very high setting. I set it at 30 foot pounds. So you're going to look right here and you're going to be seeing as I turn it, how it tells you exactly what torque you're at. And then the light and the buzzer will go off when I get to 30 foot pounds. So there you go. You see it climbing. And I'm going to try to do it steady so you can see it on the camera. And you see it climbing there. We're going to go bit by bit here. And remember, 30 foot pounds. And you see it right there. And it tells you the reading and tells you that you've gotten where you want to go. And it alerts you. So obviously I'm continuing to put pressure, so that's going to fluctuate a little bit there. And this is rather springy here. This is not an ideal condition because you have some washers, nuts, etc. So it's going to compress and expand. It's going to be a little bit springy. So that's going to give you some variation here. This is not like I'm torquing a head bolt or something like that on the motor where it has a finite position that you want it to be at. So this is just a demonstration to show you how this little guy works right there. Because in other ways that I would be doing some testing with this guy, you couldn't see the display. So I wanted you to be able to see the display right there, and you see how nicely that works right there. So very nice little uh, wrench right there did the job it's supposed to do. All right, guys, so let's test out the half-inch drive wrench and see how this guy performs. Now, what if you're doing something bigger and you want to go higher? Now, I set it pretty low. I only set it to 50 foot-pounds because, again, it's only a demonstration. I don't want to go crazy on this thing, and I want you to be able to see it. You're going to be looking right there. And the LEDs right there, the buzzer's up above it. You'll hear the buzzer. But right there, we're going to be looking at 50 foot-pounds. So I loosen the lug on my tire, and let's tighten it up a bit. There you go. That's 50 foot-pounds right there. Not bad. It gets the job done. Now, obviously, you can go up to 250 foot-pounds with this guy, but there's no need. I'm just doing it for demonstration. There you go. 
that's your 50 right there. All right, guys, so let's continue with some more testing. I know if I left it alone the way I did it previously with the 50 foot pound, I know someone's going to complain about that because that's the way it always is. So what I did was I took a moment and I upped it up to 100 foot pounds, which is the normal setting for my tires. So let's check and see. Let's see what this guy can do at 100 foot pounds. And this guy is pretty long, so it gives you some good leverage. So we've already got up to 50. Let's go up to 100 foot pounds and keep your eyes on the reading. There you go, 100 foot-pounds. That is the normal setting that I put my car lugs at. So there you go, 100 foot-pounds. That should satisfy just about every skeptic out there. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of some very affordable but good quality digital torque wrenches from Vibor. I promised that I would find some affordable digital torque wrenches that would be comparable to the Harbor Freight Quinn wrenches, and I did. Now, I obviously took the approach of a DIYer when doing this search and getting these wrenches. Most of my viewers are DIYer, and you don't need something like the Icon wrench or a Snap-on wrench. If you're a mechanic by trade, I suggest that you look at the best quality wrenches you can get because that is your job, and you should have the best tools available. But for most DIYers and part-time mechanics, I think these wrenches are a great value for the money. They do everything that the Harbor Freight Quinn wrenches can do, but at a fraction of the price. That is a great value in my book. Check out the VBOR website for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.